So I was talking with my brilliant sister friend, Aaron Haynes of the 19th with the asterisk on Wednesday night, <laughs> the evening after Kyle Rittenhouse tear. What, 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 is, what does that mean? I don't fucking know. Something about an asterisk? I don't know. She spells her name with an asterisk? I, I guess. Is that what's going on? Yes. Carefully testified at his murder trial in Wisconsin, like a mini Brett Kavanaugh. <laughs> what a bitch. What a bitch. <laughs> Do you see her shirt? Joyful resistor. <laughs> Buy this at my merch store. Like a mini Brett Kavanaugh. These people have no decency whatsoever. Have you no decency? Well, they fought. Wasn't the Brett Kavanaugh stuff false accusations? They were like, it yeah, they pulled out his fucking yearbook. It definitely seemed that way. Yeah. Yeah. 20 year allegations from some woman who couldn't even remember the location of the house. I tell, look, look. I've had some terrible things happen to me, Sitch. I'm sure you've had some things that have seared into your memory. No, 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 no. As a white male, I've lived a privileged life and nothing bad has ever happened to me Listen, or my family. Remember remember, I told you a story last week about how I was drunk and getting belligerent with police officers and a gun may or may not have been pointed <laughs> at me? Do you remember that? Do you, yeah, remember, remember that? Do you remember that? I could get in a car right now, drive you to the fucking street, and pull over at the spot. Okay? These things do not, these, you do not forget these things, okay? Okay. These things sear themselves into your memory. But this woman, okay. the Kavanaugh thing, like her, she couldn't remember where it was, and her, the, her friend that supposedly drove her there said, that never happened. I never <laughs> like what I know. I don't know what she's talking about. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, weren't these memories like I, I could be complete. I could be completely misremembering. I thought these memories were like, quote, repressed memories that she recalled via like psych, like psychotherapy or hypnotherapy or some something that like you're like, oh, one yeah. of these yes. things. It was a little yeah. sketchy. Ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah could I, like, get you, uh, I could get you. Three people on the phone right now who are still mad at me about that event. Who was to vouch for me that it happened? Okay, people are still angry with me about it. Oh, you mean the being belligerent with the poli police? Yeah, being thing. belligerent with the police. Yeah, Adam exactly. literally almost got uh, George Floyded by the police. <laughs> okay, Adam was Adam was just a couple lines away from not being. That, that was that would never happen. That would never happen. <laughs> Oh, because you're that's white. Like, that's like a big city thing. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the, the town I was in, everyone was white. They'd never seen a <laughs> black person. Are you kidding me? We were talking about how this case reminds us so much of the George trial, in which Zimmerman, an adult, was acquitted on July 13th, 2013, of murdering... I mean, it's just like the George Zimmerman, Zimmerman trial, except it's nothing like the George Zimmerman trial. <laughs> Yeah, it is nothing like the. <laughs> we George reversed all the ages and who chased who, and that there was clear geographic evidence of everything. Then yeah, it would be exactly like the George and George. the races of yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Murdering a teenager, seventeen-year-old Trayvon Martin. Much like the Rittenhouse case, the Zimmerman case was fundamentally about. Wait, George Zimmerman was seventeen. I mean, Trayvon Martin was seventeen, because they always use that picture of him when he's like twelve. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't I mean, Kyle Rittenhouse is 17? 17, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> American vigilantism and whether it is legal in America for a person not in law enforcement to take it upon themselves to arm themselves with a gun and meet out what they view as justice in the name of self-defense and investigating property crime. According to the laws maneuvered into place by the NRA, that is indeed legal in America, statistically, mainly if you're white. European history on the American continent from 1619 to today is an almost unbroken record of vigilantism in the name of defending property rights, whether that property was human and African and enslaved or in the form of wives or daughters who had no individual property or voting rights of their own and whether or whether it was physical land. America is a country formed by men who threw off the European kings to become little kings of their own with land and slaves and women under their charge. So it's, your, it's like, oh, it's so what a, evil. What a fucking piece of shit. 
What a racist, sexist, un-American piece of shit. This is so bad. American history is just men throwing off their shackles of European monarchy so that they could be the monarchs of women and slaves. <laughs> the majority of people didn't own slaves. Did you know that? The majority of white people in this country and back then did not own slaves. They couldn't afford slaves. Yeah, there's also plenty of people, white people who were slaves. They were, yeah, yeah. they were indentured servants and slaves. Yeah. I know. But now, but now we have, she has the 1619 CRT delusion of, of unbroken delusion of racism. Yeah. Of history. Notice the though. date that she picked, 1619. Yep. Does this yep. do, are people buying into, I guess, yeah, this is a new religion people are buying into. Cowan House is basically just like the KKK, okay? Mm. He just wants to go out there and kill black people. Now, listen, he just has really bad aim and only kills white people. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know, but <laughs> the one so... black person that maybe attacked him, he missed. So, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I know. What the fuck? Oh, insane. God. You're, you know, he is so, so happy that he missed the first guy. <laughs> I know. Like, if, he had, oh, if he had shot Jump Kick Man, who I think is, I he thought was black. He, oh he is black. God. He's totally yeah. black. He never would have got out of jail. I know. There's a good. You could get a good look at Jump Kick Man in the video, and the way Jump Kick Man is scuffling away, he looks like he's like 45. He's like completely yeah. like trucking out of the street yeah yep. yep and whether it was the colonizers merciless enforcement of their own made-up authority look at this look at this joy reed is so desperate oh my god that she has to go back before cameras were even invented <laughs> like they this wasn't this is done someone did this by scratching on a rock <laughs> this is literally this is like a stone lithography here this is crazy joy reed while talking about kyle rittenhouse is like let's bring up the drawings of native americans being killed and black people being enslaved like this is really relevant to the fucking kyle rittenhouse trial yeah, it's God, totally irrelevant. Asshole. And I think Kyle Rittenhouse, like, he'd be repulsed by this. Oh, of course. Yeah. To forcibly seize indigenous people's land and wiping out entire tribes. Or the fugitive slave laws that authorized any white man to forcibly recapture enslaved people who broke for freedom. She's going full socialist. This is what this is. Yeah. This is her going, because there's that iconic thing where she asks Kimberly Crenshaw if CRT is Marxist. Which obviously she didn't know it was because she wouldn't have asked that question. And yeah. Kimberly Crenshaw is like, let me not answer that question for the next 60 seconds. <laughs> right. And now it's like she's been totally radicalized because she's like, property, property. You know what? You know what the problem is in white America? Property rights. Property. Property has been used to enslave black people. Property was stolen from Native Americans. Property. Property. Joy Reid, after that Kimberly Crenshaw video. Kimberly took her out to dinner. Oh, girlfriend. She, listen. I was so <laughs> embarrassed. I was so, when you called me for, out for the Marxist, I was so, I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to say. But by the end of that dinner, she was like, let me tell you about some Marxism. <laughs> let me tell you about a man named Karl Marx, yes. Yeah. She convinced her. She made a true believer out of that. I, that's what it seems like. Yeah. Or the religious fanatics who claim the right to try and burn at the stake any woman deemed to be a witch. Oh my And now she's God. just projecting. Because, yes, Kyron House is a witch trial. You're just on the side of the, the witch burners. The irony. Okay. I know. The too much irony. <laughs> the irony meter's off the charts here. No, not, <laughs> not this much irony. <laughs> This much irony it, cannot be handled. It's dangerous to, th to have this, this much irony in your diet, okay? Listen, I've been thinking the whole like the whole time. All of this, mm -hmm. all the woke stuff is just witch hunting. Right. The witchcraft is racism. That's what they're looking for. 
For the more than 4,000 lynchings from the redemption era to Emmett Till and the massacres from Elaine, Arkansas to Wilmington, North Carolina to Tulsa, Oklahoma and on and on and on. Yeah, you see, it's interesting that she brings up Tulsa, Oklahoma, okay, Mm -hmm. which some people refer to as the burning of Black Wall Street. Because what that was, was a lynch mob who wrongly thought a black young kid committed a crime that he didn't commit, decided that they didn't want the justice and legal system to handle it and that they were going to kill him. And when a bunch of uh, black soldiers who were in the mil- who were just in the military came to defend the prison, okay, to defend his life, it started a crazy race riot, which ended with a bunch of crazy racist white people attacking and burning down a bunch of black property. Yeah. So under Joy Reid's moronic fucking argument and every fucking dumb shit who's arguing against Kyle would say that the black people in the burning of Tulsa, Oklahoma, should not have tried to defend their property. They Because sh- if they were defending their property and killed someone, oh, that's terrible. They should have just ran away and let all these racist people destroy their yeah. businesses and their livelihoods. Burn because why down. are they defending property? Isn't that disgusting? Yeah. This And the whole Rittenhouse thing is exactly the inverse of that. It's all... I know. Them burning property over the Jacob Blake thing. Right. Yeah. But there, she's she's too dumb to understand this, to see it. Yeah, you got to fight it on both sides. Yeah. Any white man who claimed a crime had occurred felt completely entitled to enforce the law himself, sometimes with a gang of his friends. See, this is exactly what's going on. Joy Reid, you are a member of the gang. Yes. All of your coverage is a member of the gang. All of yep. you talking about... Uh, Kyle Rittenhouse throwing up the OK sign, you know, beating up a, a girl in a parking lot earlier, like yep. threatening people with a, a gun when he's just talking shit to his friend. This, all these the, are what, yeah, all of these claims were made against blacks, right? And and you can you can see the picture, all this crossing state. He crossed state lines. He wore totally a shirt. He said he threw up the OK sign. He beat up a girl. These are all things the crowd would yell outside the jail cell while they're holding their torches as they're trying to get the the kid out to lynch them. Yeah, it's exactly the same situation. The 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 irony is off the charts here. The the fact that she can't see that, you know, you, you can't argue against lynch mobs and literally join a lynch mob yourself. It's yep. totally disgusting. 